Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. This video shows how to determine the inverse Laplace transform by using partial fraction. When solving inverse Laplace using partial fraction, the first thing we should do is to identify whether the question can be solved using linear factors, quadratic factors, repeated linear factors and repeated quadratic factors. Let us take a look at this question. Find the inverse Laplace of S minus 1 over S plus 1 multiplied by S squared plus 4 Based on type of factor of the denominator, we should use repeated quadratic factors. To decompose this question, look at the denominator value. S plus 1 is linear factor. Therefore, it becomes A over S plus 1. Next, S square plus 4. This is quadratic factors. Therefore, it becomes BS plus C over S square plus 4. Therefore, S minus 1 over S plus 1 multiplied by S square plus 4 equal to A over S plus 1 plus BS plus C over S square plus 4. So, the new equation is a multiplied by S square plus 4 plus BS plus C multiplied by S plus 1 over S plus 1 multiplied by S square plus 4. Therefore, S minus 1 equal to A S square plus 4 A plus b s square plus b s plus c s plus c by using substitution or equating coefficient method a s square plus b s square equal to zero hence a plus b equal to zero b s plus c s equal to s so, B plus C is 1. This is first equation and this is second equation. 4A plus C is equal to negative 1. This is the last equation. By using calculator or substitution method, the value of A is negative 2 over 5, B is 2 over 5 and C is 3 over 5. Finally, the decomposition of S minus 1 over S plus 1 multiplied by S square plus 4 equal to negative 2 over 5 multiplied by S plus 1 plus 2S plus 3 over 5 multiplied by S square plus 4. As we refer to the question, the inverse Laplace transform of S minus 1 over S plus 1 multiplied by S square plus 4 is equal to inverse Laplace transform of negative 2 over 5 multiplied by S plus 1 plus inverse Laplace transform of 2s plus 3 over 5 multiplied by s squared plus 4. Next, 2s plus 3 over 5 multiplied by s squared plus 4 can be separated. It will be inverse Laplace transform of negative 2 over 5 multiplied by s plus 1 plus inverse Laplace transform of 2s over 5 multiplied by s squared plus 4 plus 
inverse Laplace transform of 3 over 5 multiplied by x squared plus 4. Now, we separate the number from the function of s equal to negative 2 over 5 multiplied by inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus 1 plus 2 over 5 multiplied by inverse Laplace transform of s over s squared plus 4 plus 3 over 5 multiplied by inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s squared plus 4. To solve this question, please refer to the Laplace transform table. The function of 1 over s plus 1 will be exponent negative t. Please refer to the Laplace transform table at row 2. For the function of s over s squared plus 4, it will be cos 2t. Please refer to the Laplace transform table at row 6. For the function of 1 over s squared plus 4, it will be sin 2t. You can refer to the Laplace transform table at row 5. Now, the final answer is negative 2 over 5 exponent negative t plus 2 over 5 cos 2t plus 3 over 10 sin 2t. So, we hope that this video has helped you understand on how to use partial fraction method in order to solve inverse Laplace transform. Feel free to meet us if you have any question or confusion. Assalamualaikum and goodbye.